the MechWarrior Summer Sale on Steam and in-game. Hi friends, I'm TTB, welcome back to some MechWarrior Online and MechWarrior 5 news. The big Steam Summer Sale is currently going on until July 11th. Uh, so that is basically two weeks full of time to purchase anything you might want to pick up because you didn't pick it up so far. MechWarrior 5 Mercs and all DLCs are 60% off with the exception of Solaris Showdown, which of course is the newest DLC. That one is 30% off. Um, some good deals here. If you want my recommendations on what to buy, um, if you don't have MechWarrior 5 Mercs yet, grab it. As far as the DLCs are concerned, uh, Heroes of the Inner Sphere is a good DLC. Legend of the Castle Lancers is the best DLC in my opinion. Um, Rise of Rasselhag is nice. Dragon's Gambit is nice. So that was Showdown is a nice DLC. The only DLC that I find is super weak is Call to Arms. Steam bundles are out again. These are mech packs. Where they include like a um, hero mech bundled together with some other goodies. 50% off at 25 bucks each. Um, they have like 3000 MC, some skill points and whatnot. So they are, I would say, okay bundles. Definitely give, have a look there if you, for example, don't have the Slightnir yet because that's part of the Assault Mech Pack. So it's always one mech together with a lot of goodies. Same thing is available, of course, on the uh, Inner Sphere side as well. I was just looking at the clan side. Then we have Mech Warrior Online Legends Packs. They are discounted on Steam and in the MWO store and also mech packs. Let's talk about the mech packs first because I want to give you guys a quick buying guide for the legendary mechs. So mech pack wise, the Otomo collection, those are the uh, normal mechs with the amazing skins, 25% off. If you like those mechs that are in the Otomo collection, something like the Hatamoto Chi, the Catapult, the Dragon, then have a look at that guys. The paint jobs and bolt ones are amazing. The Blackhawk Crew mech pack is 25% off, solid mech. The Rivals mech pack is 50% off and the Solaris 7 Hero starter pack. I believe that's like five or six mechs, also 50% off. So if you don't own these mechs, that might be a good point to pick them up. Now let's talk about the legendary mechs that are currently on sale and my recommendations for them. Blackhawk Coup, definitely interesting. Automo pack, interesting, like I said, here come the legendaries. Red Reaper 2, um, fun mech, not horrible, but also not too powerful. What are the shield mechs? Kasai has the supercharger as its defining feature, but rather on the weaker side. Lead Octo, I would also say rather on the okay to weaker side. Sovereign, S plus tier. Especially with something like AC2s. You saw me farm 2000 damage and over 1000 match score on 4 people. That is done with the Sovereign. The Sovereign has um, some arm omniports that you can get, but I think you have to do the battle pass to completion before you get them. So keep that in mind. Um, also, Warhorn wise, of course, all of them come with Warhorns. They come with their own little uh, battle pass that you can do. And it has like 20 levels. You get bolt ons, you get colors, you get paint jobs, you get GSP that you can use to skill your mech. And all sorts of goodies, plus of course uh, cockpit items as well. So, all nice there. So, Sovereign S plus Axum S plus the Stone Rider Hero Mech eight AC two or eight Ballistics S plus Mech. The Spitfire is okay. Um, has this fun propeller on the nose that turns, which makes it kind of funny looking. Um, but yeah, I would say it's an okay Mech. Onyx, the same story as the Red Reaper two. Um, amazing paint job, great Warhorn, um, an okay Mech, I would say. Um, with, once again, the shield gimmick, of course, means that all the tonnage that goes to the shield does not go into weapons, unfortunately. Then we have the Blight. The Blight is a, a very good heavy mech, worth picking up. The Gorewing, don't bother. Hashkey and Abaddon, um, they've got buffed. These are two clan urban mechs. Um, not a must-have, but also not bad either. The Warlord, I would say, really good assault mech, very much fun to play. I would say pick it up. War Emu, also great stalker, only stalker that runs a lot of Daka. Recommend to pick that one up. Scale Shots. Um might be is it available for MC right now? I don't I don't remember, but this one is extremely strong. One of the strongest medium mechs in the whole game. So must have. Stone Crusher, I would say must have. Gausszilla, must have. Howl can be very strong. Desperada, fun mech to play. Not giga strong, but strong. RG's insane seismic sensors and fun to play. Also would say pick that one up. Seraph, the same thing, um, fun to play. Would we'll think about picking that one up. Scattershot, used to be OP, nowadays it's only okay-ish, I would say. Dreadnought, good mech. Juggernaut, well, 
if you want to do eight AC2s on the inner sphere side or something like the four AC20s naval firepower that you saw a couple of videos ago. Pick up the Juggernaut. Moonwalker, excellent mech as well. And the uh, Rivals pack has Sun Spiders in it. That is also definitely worth picking up. So yeah, basically most of them I think are good or okay. Some of them are extremely good. My personal opinion, for my personal tastes, what are the must-have mechs? Once again, Sovereign, Axum, Warlord, Stonecrusher, Scaleshot, Gauzilla, and then the other ones, of course, as I already recommended. There you have it, guys. Those are my buy recommendations. Let me know which one you end up picking up and if this video was helpful to you. Thank you so much, supporters. Couldn't do it without you. If you want to join Team TTB, check out the join button at your YouTube. Super thanks button in the comment section, or of course the links to Patreon or the merch store listed in the video description.